Hi guys, welcome back to Cricut Monday. For those of you who are new to my channel, um, on Mondays I do a Cricut DIY and sometimes I incorporate Dollar Tree items in that and then on Tuesdays and Fridays I do DIYs or hauls from the Dollar Tree usually. And then on Wednesday, I have a planner where I do a plan with me where I review classic movies and put them into my planner. So there's something for everyone here on my channel. And I think I'm going to start adding an additional on Wednesday for those who aren't interested in the plan with me's a DIY from the Dollar Tree. So I'll probably be doing three um, like on Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday DIYs from the Dollar Tree and then Monday with my Cricut I will try to incorporate the Dollar Tree as well. So I'm really excited as you know Mother's Day is Sunday May 10th and I found a really cute sign at the Dollar Tree that I want to change up a little bit and use my Cricut to make a Mother's Day sign with. So that's what we're going to do. This is very easy, very uh, beginner friendly. It's great for beginners. So I already have design space loaded here on my computer. So let's go to new project, the circle with the plus. And I downloaded an image from Design Bundles and I'll put the link in the description box to them. I'm not affiliated with them. I don't receive any commission. I just really like their site. Okay, so I'm going to go here to um, images left corner right here and I'm going to hit browse all images and then I'm going over here to ownership with this update like I've said before it's changed things up a little bit I'm going to click on that and click uploaded and this is the one that I've chosen you click on that it'll put a green box around it then we're going to the bottom right hand corner insert images and it will bring it in and it says the love between a mother and her children knows no distance and I thought in this time of social distancing this is perfect so what I want to do and naturally it's it came in much bigger than what I need I want to go up here out from size there's a little lock I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to backspace and get rid of that um, those numbers and I want to make my saying 3.3 .3 wide by and go over to the height and put in 3.3 and then lock that back okay then I want to make a circle so I'm going here to the shapes on the left hand side going to choose my circle move it over and to change the color I'm going up here to this box click on it and you can choose any color um, I'm just using this so I can keep up with it then I'm going to click back on this go up here to the size and unlock it and I'm going to make my circle 4.7 by 4.7 lock that back okay now that I have my circle and my saying what I want to do this if you look right here where I'm clicked on it up at the linotype it says cut and I don't want to cut it I want to draw it with some of the Cricut pins so I'm going to click on draw and then um, I think that's all that I need to do okay, now I'm just going to put this right on top of here like this I think that looks really good we're going to draw if you look over here in the layers column we have a draw and we have a cut I want it to be one item so I'm going to draw a box around it I'm going to group them up in the layers column and then down in to attach where the little paper clip is the right bottom corner I'm going to click on that now we have it's all one group and it's going to draw and cut so we're going to go to make it right top corner my computer's connecting to my Cricut and you'll see right here let me increase the size hopefully you can see well it doesn't help here but it's only on one mat and it's going to write this out and then draw a circle so I have my my uh, Cricut set on cardstock because that's what I'm going to be using we're going to go continue right bottom corner and the next time you see me we will be cutting out this really cute sign for Mother's Day. Okay, this is the sign that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I think it is really cute. 
I just popped this off. You could paint this if you wanted. I don't know if I will or not, and I really like this happy tropical vibe. So I'm going to put this on top of this. I think it'll be really cute. You could turn this into a sticker if you wanted with like the um, printable vinyl, but I didn't want to do that. So I'm just using this really pretty pale pink cardstock. Okay, I'm going to put this in. Now, if you want to know how to load your pins, all you do is put it right down in here and it has this little triangle and it's going to be upside down. You're just going to put that right in there. Press to you hear that click and then close that, okay? Then we're going to insert by the blinking arrow and then it will start to draw and cut with the blinking C. It's so easy. And then as you'll see, here in a minute, it's going to draw out our sign. You could use a different color pen if you wanted to, but I liked how the black looked. And like I said, you could paint the frame. I don't know that I want to paint the frame. I sort of like it like this. I guess I'll just see what it looks like all put together. And I may take one of these Dollar Tree flowers and put it along the side. So when this finishes drawing, I'll be back and let you see it cut it out. Okay, it's almost finished drawing this out, and then it will cut the circle out for us. But this is really easy to do, and I love this saying, like I said. Okay, now here it's going to cut our circle. And you could use any color paper that you wanted. Okay, we'll eject it by hitting the blinking arrow. And here is our little sign. The love between a mother and her children knows no distance with the little hearts. I think that's really cute. Okay, now all we're going to do and originally, the reason that I took this off, I was thinking about putting a different color paper under here, but then I thought, no, I, I really do kind of like that, but you could put another paper on there if you wanted. Now I'm just going to take my Elmer School Glue, and glue this right on here. But you could use double-sided tape. That would work very nicely. Then all we have to do is pop this right back in here. And that's what we have. And it costs you a dollar. It is so cute. Like I said, you can paint the frame if you want. And you could also put glue some flowers right on here, which I think gives it a much more upscale look. So let me see what I want to do with it, and I'll be back when it's okay. Here is the finished little Mother's Day sign. I think it looks really pretty. I made it look kind of really old, kind of farmhouse, just kind of, just to me, it just looks really old. I ended up putting some Waverly chalk paint over it in the celery. I've used that before with a little bit of white underneath and then I glued these Dollar Tree flowers on it and I think it looks happy and I love the same. So I'll see you tomorrow, which is Tuesday, for a Dollar Tree haul. I'm really excited about the items that I found and I found some new things. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button and set your bell to where you'll be notified every time that I upload something, so select all. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.